Hi everyone. Well, I have to say one thing. These protesters have no class whatsoever. Gotta get the dog. Yes, I know. Yes, I know, huh? <laughs> you say, huh? Today's the last day that I'm with Shoda. She goes home tomorrow. Parents are coming home, huh? Hmm? Yes, you good girl. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? What? What you doing? Oh, oh my goodness. Get ready and close. Okay. All right, look, you're covering me. <laughs> I know, you're such a good girl. Yes, you are, Joda. Yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if you're wondering why I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday, it's because I'm brushing her. Uh, I'll, I already brushed her once this morning. I'm gonna, it's only like 6 a.m. I'm gonna brush her again later, and I said, "Well, this ha this shirt's already covered in hair. Just throw the shirt on, and then after you're done brushing her, then you can go ahead and put fresh clothes on for today after you shower." Um, so yeah, if you know me, you know I my personal feelings on philosophy of life is everyone has the right to feel whatever they want, right? Live your life, you do you. That's fine. Um, everyone has their own opinion, and if you disagree on opinions, you should debate, and you should discuss, and you should each try and convince each other that you're correct. This sort of thing, right? Just common courtesy. And, but, I watched something in the news this morning from one of our Canada Day celebrations that was going on in Alberta, where a bunch of protesters surrounded the health minister and his family in Alberta and started screaming and yelling at him that he's doing genocide and he's killing a bunch of people. We're talking he's walking with his young children and his wife in a park and these people are yelling at their young children and their young sons I'm sorry I'm sorry kid but your father's a murderer he's a murderer he's killed many people you have no class you're actually a kind of a disgusting person there used to be such a thing in this world as dignity and carrying yourself with with pride you know if if you believe something firmly and you think you're on the right side you don't have to result to idiotic tactics because your side should win the day if you're right your side should win the day in just normal discussions and debates. And if you want to protest the health minister, you go to the health minister's office, you go to parliament, you go to those places. You don't go to a family event where somebody's walking with their kids on a holiday and harass them. You're disgusting. You really are. I have no time for someone like that. And what were these people protesting? They were protesting vaccines. Great. You don't want to get a vaccine? Don't get a vaccine. No one is pointing a gun at your head to get a vaccine. Yeah, I know. You know, you want to protest that the lockdowns have happened? Fine. Protest the government. Raise money. Throw the government out. Do that kind of stuff. But you don't harass a man 
his wife, and his young child in a park. You don't do it. You have proven to me that no matter what you try and argue with me now about vaccines, I'm not listening. Because why would I listen to somebody who's that disgusting and has no morals or scruples? I, I don't know where people think that it's their, it's their mandate in life to be this voice. I don't know if you were doing it for attention, uh, Twitter followers, or, you know, hey, look at me, get me some, some, some five minutes of fame. Or, but here's your fame. You're now five, main, five minute fame is being a garbage human being. Congratulations. I don't, I don't understand people like this. Who do you think you're converting? Who do you think you're getting on your side by doing something like that? <laughs> I, I, yeah, again, when there's, when there's a cause and your cause is right and just, people will rally to it and people will convert to your side. But really, Yelling at somebody's kids that their father's a murderer at a Canada Day celebration in the park is convincing no one that your side is right. Is convincing no one that you're anything, anything but a disgusting person. And like I said, I don't care what you're protesting. You could have been protesting that he's not giving out enough vaccines. For all I care, I don't. But doing that to me, you, you, you just lost any credibility. You just lost any speaking voice. You have just proven that you have no morals, no scruples, no decorum, and no common sense of dignity. And God, we could use some dignity in this world again, don't you think? Don't you think respect and dignity could go a long way again? But no, instead, we have people yelling at the father of a 12-year-old boy in the park calling his father a murderer because he wants people to get a vaccine. Oh, the horror. Is there anything else in this world that could be worse than that? <laughs> <laughs>